Hey everyone, Raider on here. Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within Impossible Iron Man. Where this game kicks my ass, and just when I think I have a hold on it, it kicks my ass again. It really kicks my ass again. In the last mission, or the last episode, we finished Operation Stone Sword, I believe. And did the, that's the second mission of Operation Sling Pack. The one that was really dreading, the one that's very difficult. Although now that I've done it, Again, I kind of have a good feeling about it if I have to do this if that mission again sometime. I get a better I got a better idea of where the aliens are and how to deal with that mission. But we did lose some soldiers in that mission, including our mech. And Danielle, our replacement mech, is in the um she is in the uh, cybernetics lab being amputated right now, so I can't bring her onto this mission. We have three veterans coming with us in this mission, and three count them, three rookies. Got Jonic, Raimi, and Dan Z. And if I can successfully do this mission, I can get myself four engineers, which means I can put all four of my satellites up this month, which is huge, 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 huge. So I would really like to be able to do that if possible. Now, I've thought about it. I really would like to bring an arc thrower on this mission to capture a live alien. And yes, that may seem greedy with the, on top of the fact that I'm bringing three rookies. But the game snowballs in difficulty if you don't catch up. So you gotta take risks. You have to take risks and hope you succeed because it allows you to catch up. Now the question is who do I give the um, who do I give the arc thrower to to capture a live alien? My choices are one of the rookies or savior. Now the question is, if I give her an arc thrower, she'll lose the medkits. Which means that she will not be able to heal a soldier. Which is usually bad because you want to have a medkit. So if you know, Zang gets hit or Green gets hit, you can heal them up. Rookies are all going to die in one hit anyway, this late in the game. They're all dead in one hit. So do I really need to bring this medkit? Is the question. The reason I want to give Savior the Arc Thor is because she has the ability Sprinter, which allows her to move three additional tiles, and the Arc Thor has to be used in close range. So a lot of times you'll find that it's better to give it to your support so they can run in close to the alien and zap them, as opposed to one of the rookies because they can't move as far. You know what, Dan? going to carry an arc thrower. I can't risk it. I, I would love to be able to risk it, but I just can't. Dan's in front with the arc thrower, my heavy and my assault, savior in the back with my two other rookies. I believe I have zero dollars. Yep, so there's nothing I can build. Argentina is where I'm going. Alright, let's do this mission. Here we go. I got myself some water. That should help. Help quench my thirst. Help, you know, ease my mind when all my soldiers die. Oh uh, yeah, I'm prepared for deployment. Okay, I know this map. Operation Defiant Druid. The aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. We'll have to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. All right, I hope that Defiant Druid is me and not the aliens. I really hope so. There's Raimi. There's Zhang. Doesn't show me other two soldiers for some reason. All right. One is clear to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Done this map plenty of times. There's sometimes an alien pack in the kitchen right here. The meld is usually there too. There's usually an alien pack out here in the parking lot. And there's an alley behind the house and kind of a open area outside the house here where a lot of aliens can spawn as well. Actually, no, this is a convenience store that has another room here. Aliens can spawn there and then there's an alley outside that which aliens can spawn in as well. I think those are generally the spawn points with the aliens. No, the good news is my alien, my rookies. No, I have shitty rookies. Jonic has okay aim. Raimi and Dan both have terrible aim. 
All right, let's move my rookies first then. Ah, oh, Dan has actually pretty good movement, so I'm I'm proud. I'm proud to put a dark throw on him. No meld in there. Oh, here's the meld. Oh, I don't like this. Cause last time I tried to get a meld container that was here, there were aliens over here, and I couldn't move up and have any full cover. Meld is definitely not a priority right now. F the meld. I need to get through this mission with everyone alive if possible. That is definitely my priority. I learned my lesson. I'm moving all my rookies first. Alright, and then Jocelyn. On my way. Zhang has cover, so next turn he can rock it. Got it covered. No snipers still. Here they come. Oh, just sectoids. I like that. I like that. Good job, Zhang. Good shot. Oh, not Zhang. Uh, Dan. That was Dan, right? Was it Dan? Yeah, it was Dan. Good job, man. So the sectoids went to hide in this room. There's a door here and a door here. Unfortunately, no one can reach it. That's kind of not good. They'll probably bust out of the door and shoot me in the face next turn. So I either need to grenade that door open. Yeah, I'll grenade that door open. Um, who's gonna throw the grenade? Zhang has two shots with hollow targeting, so I don't want to use him to throw a grenade. My assault can run and gun, so it's gonna be one of the one of the rookies. So probably Raimi, who's furthest back. You're gonna throw a grenade and blow up that wall. So I can try to get a shot at these aliens. That's how I want it. Alright, good. There we go. One is out of cover. Let's get my rookie some kills. Alright, Dan. Oh, can I capture one? Oh, it's too late. I just moved Dan. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, let's take Dan, take a shot. Nice, two kills for Dan already. I could potentially pin that alien down, run with Dan here next turn, and capture it. Is that worth it? Can I even capture from here? I think I can. Is that worth it? I could suppress it with two characters. Oh, this better not pull an alien group. I am scared to move here. Moving to position. All right. Suppress it. Oh, this might blow the wall back wall out. Please, no aliens back here. Alright, I didn't. And then Zhang, you come here and suppress. I'm moving to that position. I understand. Alright, I'll keep him pinned down. Let's actually send my assault to the root. Oh, I can't. Zhang's blocking the ladder. Damn it, Zhang! God. Well, let's just move my assault in and hunker him down then. And Jonic, you come here to full cover. And you overwatch in case he moves, take a shot at him. So if he moves, he's dead. Good, that's what I wanted him. I wanted him to stay still. Now, can Zhang get, a, get in close for a capture? Yes, he can. I think that's within capture range. So I need to nick him down to as low health as possible. Now, this didn't used to happen in XCOM, but I don't know if it's a new thing. People who are on suppression duty step away from the wall. So Jocelyn's on this tile now. Or she's like in between these two tiles. I don't know how that's possible. And Zhang is on this tile instead of this tile. So which means they're not in cover anymore, which is kind of weird. But they still have that shield icon as if they were in cover. At yeah, defense 45, like, she has the full cover from this... I don't I don't know how this... I don't know. I don't know. That's so weird. I don't know why it's like that. 
Alright. Uh, I don't want to use another grenade here, so let's move my assault in and just shoot it. With a pistol. Uh, that'll be good, that'll be good. Three critical! That's exactly what I needed! Let's try to bring this sectoid home. I need him. Ninety percent stun chance. Do it, man. Yes. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation. My first captured alien. Nice job, Dan. Nice job. Let's move my soldiers up. Overwatch and reload this turn. Nice critical on the uh, pistol shot. James, good job, good job. Alright, that meld has three turns left. I'm not gonna go for it. F the meld. It's not a priority at all. Keeping my soldiers alive is a priority right now. Alright, I'm probably gonna stack up. There's probably a group of aliens in this room and one out here in the parking lot. I still have my rocket, which I'm really happy about. Might be an alien group in the alleyway as well. Yeah, if I know this game, there's an alien group in this alleyway. There's usually a, there's, I once had a group of mutons right outside, actually, I think. Yep, mutons. Oh, I really don't like having to face mutons. Yeah, mutons are the great leveler in month three, once you have your laser weapons. When you start getting comfortable, they bring out the mutons. and Don't move Zhang for us, he can rock it. God, almost made a mistake again. Alright, let's move Jonic to here. Good, good. Let's just move everyone closer for this turn. No, I don't want you going around that way. Let's go around this way to be safe. Why do you have your gun pointed in the air like that? What the hell? Jocelyn, what are you doing? Are you okay? All right, and then Zhang last. Zhang's got his gun pointed in the air too. I think this has to do with them being under suppression duty. For some reason, they get like stupid. Here we come. Seekers. Yes, yes, seekers are okay. Oh, you're overwatched with your pistol. That was a mistake. Uh, so Zane got a hit in. <laughs> he said, that was lucky. This time. Oh, another group of Seekers! Oh, I've never fought this many Seekers at once before. Okay, that is interesting, actually. That is a challenge I have never faced in XCOM. Two groups of Seekers at once? I'm guessing I'll just be able to, like, grenade some of them right away, because... Yeah, there's one right there. Uh. Uh. Did they go like behind me to troll me? Like, I don't know. I can never tell. Oh, there's one right here. There's one right in like in the middle of my group. There's one there and one there. I can kill those two this turn and then overwatch with the rest of my dudes. Uh, Zane can throw a grenade this turn. That's probably optimal. Let's retreat slightly. Eh, eh, I don't really care. It's fine. Oh, well, I want to be able to grenade this one without getting all my guys killed. So let's at least retreat to like this area over here. Yeah. I'm ready to go. And then Zane can grenade this one. The reason I'm using Zane to grenade right now is because he usually wants to rock it. So I want to be able to, um, like my assault and my my assault and my heavy don't get chances to use their grenades that often because they're usually going to be using their special abilities to shoot the aliens. So that's why I want to use their grenades now while I know for sure that other people can get the kills. All right, Johnny, why don't you come here? What do you mean you can't see this one? Fuck. All right, let's play it safe then. Let's play things safe then. Let's move Dan here. 
and then you can shoot that one. Now you can't capture Seekers, in case you guys are wondering why I'm not trying to capture one. You actually just can't capture them. That's how this game is. Alright, let's move Jocelyn away from this Seeker. He's right here. Jocelyn can shoot that other one. And then yeah. Raimi can move Where's here. Oh, she can't grenade. Okay, she can shoot. John Ake will grenade this one right here, right? Incoming! Incoming! Oh, there were two there! Which means I can get a double kill with James right now. Now let's have Raimi take a shot. Let's see if I can get her a promotion. Nice. Good. A kill for Raimi. I could save a grenade right now. Just take a rapid fire shot. James's rapid fire. Oh, I have the pistol equipped. Almost made a mistake. Good thing I checked. James's rapid fire, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Count has not been very good. He always misses one. Like a freaking noob. Alright, there should only be one more group of aliens. If I know this game, let's reload everybody this turn. Alright, so in the parking lot is where the last group is, is my guess. Oh no, there's another group of seekers. There's another seeker left. That's what that was. There's I killed three. There's still one more left. Can I sniff him out? Yeah, he's right there. Oh no, that's just fire. Yeah, I think in XCOM your people can't move onto like squares that are on fire. So I think that's a fire square. That's why you can't move there. That's not a seeker. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Alright, don't move Zhang first. Don't move Zhang first. God! Keep trying to do that. Uh, Alright, let's sneak out. All clear. Let's move Jonic next. <laughs> Kick this door open. Good job, Jonic. Good job with that door. You showed him. Alright, Raimi, you follow Jonic. Then I move Jocelyn. Well, that's a really weird route to take. Okay, that's fine. I think it's because the ground's on fire. Then we move James, our, our assault, next. And our heavy goes last. We overwatch everyone. See, when I don't face mutons, laser weapons make a huge difference. And Oh, pff, he's dead. Oh, and I get a close combat specialist shot. No longer a threat. I wonder who got the kill. Someone who did five damage. So I'm assuming James, because Zhang, the guy who said no longer a threat was not Zhang, because he didn't have a, an accent. So I'm guessing it was James. I heard the noise from over here, so I'm assuming they're. I'm assuming they're. I'm assuming they're out here somewhere. Probably like behind this truck. Or in this open area here. It's possible they moved around during that time. So let's just move to here. There's the other meld. Okay, we can go for that meld. There's only one group left. I'm feeling a little safer. Good job, Raimi. Jonic, you come around this side. And then Jocelyn, you're next. You just tag up next to uh, Dan, I think. Then James, you move there. And my heavy will go right here. I want to reload everybody. I would love for everyone to be on Overwatch, but I'm gonna just reload everyone, just just to be safe. They're over there. Ah, lots of the meld. Now I heard the alien sound. It didn't sound like. Mutons. It sounded like floaters. If there's no mutons this mission, that would make me very happy. Very, very, very happy. I would really, really like it if there were no mutons this mission. Alright, let's go over there. That's kind of a long move, but... You know what? I bet they're... I bet they're out here. I bet they're like in this gas station area. That is my guess. It doesn't make me feel any better if they are there. It's just, uh, 
just a uh, hunch. Alright, alright. Jocelyn, you tag up right there. <coughs> Zhang, you tag up there. The reason I moved Zhang before this guy Jonic is because he was in the way of Jonic. So Jonic needed. Jonic cannot move very far, man. You gotta, like, you gotta work out. Work out your legs. Over here? I heard him from over here. The reason I can tell is because I have headphones on and the sound is directional in this game. So, they are over here somewhere. Yeah. Don't know how I feel about that. So actually, ideally, I tag all my guys up next to this door. I move a guy over here. I see him. I can bust out this door and blast them. Potentially flanking them. So yeah, let's go into the gas station. Deep inside so they can't, uh, they can't, I can't see them. And they can't flank me. All the meld's gone anyway, so there's no danger of me missing meld. There's nothing for me to worry about there. No need to ask twice. No need to ask twice. Thanks, Jocelyn. I know I can trust you. I'm saying we'll go here. You can rock it from this position next turn, which I like. Which I like. I really don't want them to be thin men. Please do not be thin men. I absolutely despise them. Let's tag my assault up here. Along with a rookie. Dan sounds fine. That way he can run out and maybe capture an alien. Jocelyn, you just go... Here. Raimi, you go... Here. And Zhang, you take full cover right here. So you can rock it next turn into a good place, hopefully. And finally, Jonic, you will tag up next to next to Zhang. Alright, next turn, we're gonna open that door, see if we see anything. Oh, they're right there. Don't know, what the hell was that? I might want Zhang here actually. Okay, let's move Jonic here and see if I can see him. If Jonic can't see him from here, it might be good to have Zhang here. I don't like why it's why is it having me go to the roof? Like, do you see this? Like I I have my cursor selected to the lowest floor. Why is it having me go to the roof randomly? Actually I might want Zhang here instead. Because you can rocket that a lot better from here. So let's move Dan away. Let's put sh sh Zhang here. All right. All right. Next turn, we'll open the door just to be extra safe. Just to be extra safe. Extra, extra, extra safe. All right. Ideally, I pop in over here. They run this way. I rocket the shit out of them. All right, Jonic. Let's go take a peek. There they are. Wait. <gasps> I somehow didn't aggro them. But since I opened the door, I'll aggro them. So that. Doesn't doesn't do anything really. Oh, I would love to have Dan a little closer. There's no way he's gonna capture an alien from here. Okay, let's put Dan where Raimi is. No, let's put Dan where. Okay, Raimi. No, no, no! Oh, he opened the door. I didn't mean to click that. That's fine. Whatever. Come towards me. Come towards me. One of them did. That is a potential capture, this guy right here. If I can kill the other ones. Okay, first check, rocket. Oh, they're dead. I can just rocket these two right now. Dan cannot capture this one right now. I need to move him here. No, I need to move him here. Or like maybe, move, maybe sprint him here. Then suppress the shit out of him. These two will be rocketed. Suppress that one. Yeah, that's my plan. That's my plan. Okay, I rocket these two. That's a no-brainer. Have to do this. Oh wait, I can't hit. I can't hit that one that's floating. No, I can't. All right. No, 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 no. I'm trying to rotate the map. God, the controls are a little bit iffy sometimes. I can actually kill all three. Oh no, 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 I can't. No, I can't. I'm just a little bit out of range. Right, I can rocket these two, right? 
Alright, let's go ahead and rocket these two guys then. Good job, Zane. Good job. Did I get that one? I couldn't couldn't see the numbers. Is he dead? He better be dead. There better be a dead floater here. Great, I can't see him anymore. So I don't know if I got him. My camera was angled in a way where I couldn't see the number. Ugh. Okay, my assault is going to... My assault can't stay there. Is half cover? Yeah, that's half cover. I want Dan to go here so he can run in. Um, and I want Jocelyn where this guy is right now to suppress him, to keep him pinned down so he can't move. Alright, let's have you run here to make sure that one's dead. I think he is. I think he's dead. Okay. That means you can come here and overwatch. It's just in case he moves. Jocelyn is going to move here. And suppress him. Hopefully she doesn't shoot the oil tank and just kill him. Because I think it's 6 damage if she shoots the oil tank. Raimi, you... whatever. Dan, you dash here. So you can run in and capture next turn. Jonic, you just stay there. Raimi, why don't you just pull back? And then you overwatch to make sure he doesn't move. Stay there, man! Don't do anything stupid! Try to shoot Jocelyn, you son of a bitch! I need to do five damage to it somehow. Does anyone have a grenade? Yes, James has a grenade. James has a grenade, which means James can move here, throw a grenade for three damage. Zang somehow can't see him. Jocelyn somehow can't see him, which makes zero sense because she suppressed him last turn and he shot him. Or he shot her. That's so stupid. Uh, I need these two to suppress. Now he appeared again on Zhang's thing. Fuck! Fuck! What the hell? Let's do a game. All right. I like the grenade thing with Jeff. So let's move Jeff here and grenade him. Let's just try to grenade him, not the cover. I don't want to hit the cover. That's three damage. Raimi can come here and take a pistol shot. Let's do that. Why not? Take the pistol shot. Two damage. A miss. No big deal. A miss. And then uh, Jonic can come here and take a pistol shot as well. That's fine. That's fine. I could suppress him again this turn, or just go for the capture and kill him if I miss. What are your shots on him? 63. Oh, Zang can get a point blank shot, so he's dead. He's dead. Alright, let's see if we can capture this guy with Zang. With 3 health, I think it's a 70% capture rate. 70%! That's not bad, I'm okay with that. Fuck! Alright, he's, he's dying this turn. Oh, there's a slight chance Zhang will shoot the gas thing and blow us all up. Blow us all to hell. Or blow Dan to hell, at least. Zhang will probably be okay. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Just kill him, please. Alright, good. Whew, that actually went well. Defiant Druid. No one took a shot. Didn't get any meld, but I'm okay with that. Killed all the aliens. No mutons. That's what made it a lot easier. The fact that there were no mutons in this mission. You guys hear that plane? Holy shit. That takes a solid effort. I want to leave the recording on so you guys can hear how loud it is. It's like a freaking, like, thunderstorm over my head. Oh, 
Alright, I didn't get a sniper. Somehow the game decided I need more assaults. They gave me two assaults instead of a sniper. I have zero snipers still. I'm gonna have to do this entire run without a sniper. Alright, Savior got a promotion. I got dense smoke or combat drugs. Dense smoke. Smoke grenades have an increased area of effect and a further decrease or increase units defense by 20. Amazing. I love dense smoke. Combat drugs. Smoke grenades now contain powerful stimulants that grant 20 will and 10 critical chance. Not as useful. The reason you smoke is for defense, not for offense. So I like dense smoke. Raimi became our new assaults. And Dan became our new assaults. John Ike didn't have a kill, so he did not get a promotion. I know it wasn't easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Impressive work indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. So because we captured a sectoid, we got their plasma pistol, so now we can research it. You can also interrogate the sectoid. We get the plasma pistol. We can't use it until we research it first. And we got two sectoid corpses, three floater corpses, sectoid captive, six weapon fragments, four secret wrecks. Did it always say captive here? I don't think it always said it before. That might be new. They've been doing some updates to this game, you know, over time. All right, so we got carapace armor. Interrogating the alien subject immediately. I'm confident we can safely house it within the containment facility. But I can't say for how long. So I'm probably going to finish Carapace Armor and then do Sectoid Interrogations. Actually, is there a point? I think Sectoid Interrogations allows you to research laser weapons faster, which means I could get precision lasers and heavy lasers. I was planning on skipping these, but the way that this run has gone, I don't think I'll be able to. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get, grab those. And then I would like to do Seeker Autopsy and the Sectoid and Floater Autopsy and Thin Man Autopsies very, very soon. I would need those. So as soon as my carapace armor is done. The new engineers <clears throat> this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more. This workshop's not gonna make it. That's fine. This needs to be into the power generator next month, potentially. This is a satellite uplink next month. I may not even need this if I keep losing countries. I don't know, we'll see. And then hopefully I can get a genetics lab here or a research lab here for some more scientists to speed up speed up some of my research. Um, these are okay. Danielle's being augmented. I got soldiers. I got some. I got some soldiers again, but they're all squatties, which is not great. Oh, I'm so sad. I lost Mary and Beeps. They were our heroes. Everyone just falling like wheat before the thigh, the scythe blade. All right, we got Phoenix cannons, Phoenix cannons. We got this interceptor repairing and interceptor purchase ready in two days. And then how's our panic look? Going to Mexico, China. It oh, India's fucked. I can't save India. I'm losing India next month. He's at five panic and they already have a satellite so I can't reduce its panic anymore. That's right, I forgot. I got a UFO over India and I didn't shoot it down so it just put his panic at five. Damn it. Well, so my satellites are going to be Mexico, China, Australia, and then probably Argentina for the South America continent bonus. The next month, I'll only need four satellites, France, Germany, no, three satellites, France, Germany, South America, and I'm done. So yeah, three more satellites and I'm all set. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Scan for some activity. Please let me just get my mech back. Please, game, don't troll me. I have a covert ops operation in five days where I sent... Who did I send on a covert ops again? John. I sent John on a covert ops. So John will need to be extracted in five days where all there will be a mission. We have a secure transmission coming really? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. Just give me a break. I've had like four missions in four days. Really? I know what this is. Yeah. It's the third mission of the operations. Uh, 
Operation Slingshot, Gangplank. With the hacked signal in place, the alien battleship is vulnerable and now is the time to strike. We need you to deploy a squad and set down on the ship's surface. This is a rare opportunity to retrieve the technology within that ship and shack. We shouldn't waste it. This mission is the one that if you can complete, you get so much money that it helps so much in, the, in like the coming month that I have to do this mission. But once again, I'm not going to have a mech. Ugh. The good news is I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to hopefully capture some thin man maybe or a floater or something with uh, Zhang here. So our savior has dense smoke now. Zhang has his super rocket. Uh, Bolden can upgrade. I have another assault, Raimi. So let's give her the blue color that's fitting for our assaults. That's right, Zhang is also an assault. That means I have two running guns already. No, I have three running guns this mission. That's potentially very useful. Yeah, that's actually... I'm okay with that. That might help here. I don't know how much it'll help, but it might help. Yeah, but as far as I know, this is a pretty short video. But uh, yeah, we're doing well. We completed that mission with very little difficulties. And now we're going to be doing op uh, Gangplank on the alien battleship. So stay tuned. And take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.